Hi, I'm Arden Kaywin, voice teacher and vocal producer, and today I want to explain why so many of you experience tension when you sing, especially tension when you're going to reach those high notes in your range. So I got an email from Frankie, who lives in London, and he's a member of my virtual voice studio. And Frankie writes, I have so much strain and tension, and it will not go away. I have watched hundreds of videos, honestly, if not a thousand. And when I push more to try to increase the pitch, my voice flats out. My throat strains and the pitch and the note hitting it just isn't there. It's just one pitch and the more I push, the more I strain and the worse I feel. How can I eliminate this to hit new notes? Frankie, I'm so glad you wrote with your frustration because I guarantee you, you're not the only one experiencing this. You're experiencing the negative feedback loop of tension. You may have noticed in Frankie's email, he uses the word push a lot. I tried to push my voice to my range. I tried to push the pitch. And my guess is that Frankie does not quite have a stable and efficient understanding of his support, that he's doing a lot of pushing. And pushing ain't support, okay? Support involves stability. Push eliminates stability and wax air out of your body. The way you know if you're pushing is by knowing what direction the muscles are going in. If you are contracting your abdominal muscles and your back muscles when you go to make sound, you're pushing. And by contracting, what I mean is taking the abdominal muscles and constricting them in. So if that's what you do when you sing, ah, then you're pushing. Flex is different than contract. Flex expands, contract pushes in, okay? We want to flex into our support. Ah. So the reason the negative feedback loop of tension is happening to Frankie is because he is literally taking all the muscles of his support, the rectus abdominis, otherwise known as the six pack, the transverse abdominis, the obliques, the lower back. And when the pitch rises, he's taking all of these muscles and he's pushing them to try to push the pitch up and out. Because in his mind, the pitch is up here. So he's trying to take all his energy and all his breath and push it up in the direction of the pitch. But what happens when you do that is, that pushing in, that contracting of the muscles of the abdomen, pushes a whole hurricane of air up towards your larynx. And the body goes, uh-oh, there's a flood coming and I cannot make sound with that amount of air coming through my larynx and my cords. So all of these muscles around here, perhaps the jaw, perhaps the tongue, begin to constrict to create a dam around the larynx to mitigate this giant flood of air that's coming up. So therein lies the tension and the squeeze. But what happens then is the body says, well, hey, how am I going to possibly get the air past the cords when there's this giant dam in the way? So then the body pushes more air, so then the body constricts more to dam it up, and then you end up pushing more to break through that dam and constricting more and pushing more and constricting more, and you get it. Therein lies the negative feedback loop of tension. And then you are tight, you're strained, you're frustrated, and it doesn't sound good. So what do we do? To break the cycle of the negative feedback loop, the key is to find the opposition of your support. So when the pitch rises, the energy of support descends, okay? I want you to feel your support flexing down and out as the pitch rises. It's that feeling of those muscles flexing and expanding away from the direction of the pitch. So pitch going up, energy and support descending. I have a video on appoggio. Appoggio is the Italianate classical way of supporting air for sound. It's what all opera singers learn when they teach Italianate opera classical technique. But if you're not an opera singer, you still should be using appoggio. And it's kind of a shame that generally only classical teachers teach appoggio because it's really the most efficient way of supporting breath for singing. So if you're a pop singer or a musical theater singer, get to know appoggio. Watch the video on my channel on appoggio. It literally means to lean. It's the Italian word for lean. And in my video on how to do it, I explain how to use the muscles of support in this leaning fashion to create stability. So go watch the video on appoggio to have a much more detailed understanding. Understand that the lower your support goes, the higher your pitch can go. And that will break this negative feedback loop of tension. 
Now there could be another reason that the body is creating tension that has nothing to do with the fact that you are not supporting your air or your sound properly. We as humans, we tend to physicalize our emotions. When we feel something emotionally, we take it on and it lives in the body. And when it's a particularly difficult emotion, that tends to manifest most often as tension in the body. So if you have a good understanding of your support, you understand apojo, you understand stability, but you're still experiencing tension in certain places, it could be that there are some ways that your thinking is sabotaging your singing, meaning your thinking is sabotaging the body and not allowing the technique that you know to actually take root. So what I mean by that is, let's say you're a singer who does a lot of compare and despair. So you have a lot of feelings of inadequacy around your instrument and your talent. Why is this singer get the part and I didn't? Or how come he can reach that note but I can't? And you're constantly putting yourself down with the negative inner critic. A lot of feeling of less than, right? That gets taken on in the body. And when you sing, believe it or not, you're singing from that place of tension and trying to prove something. So you push and you squeeze, yeah? Or it could be a sense of fear. Perhaps high notes were hard for you earlier on and now you have technique and you understand your support, but you're still carrying that old story that high notes are hard. So when you go for a high note, you have that old story that high notes are hard and your body braces itself out of fear and you get the tension as a protective mechanism. So there are ways to undo that by understanding the thinking behind the singing, getting to know the stories that you have around your instrument, your talent, your career if you do this professionally. Um, my four month intensive is designed for that purpose, to help singers get under the hood and understand how their brain is sabotaging their body. Because your body can't do what your brain is sabotaging. And as singers, our body is our instrument. So we need to make sure that it's in tip top shape and that this is not creating problems for us to actually get into our best efficient support. So do what you can, do the intensive if you wanna work with me, perhaps explore some mindfulness techniques, perhaps explore therapy if that's your thing, but really get to understand why you have the tension because understanding the why can then undo what's going on. But for today, I'm pretty sure that what Frankie's experiencing is just an inefficiency in support and a lack of really understanding how to feel that sensation of flex in the body to get out of that push feeling and instead consider that idea of expanding down as the pitch rises. So go check out the video on Apojo. Consider this idea of opposition. As the pitch rises, the support and the energy lowers. And then with that, start to create the trust that will allow the tension to dissipate. If this has been helpful to you, go check out my website, artandkwinvocalstudio.com. I have a lot of other tips and technique exercises, vocal eases, motivational content for singers. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates to become a member of my virtual voice studio. You'll get instant access to a powerful video training called Be a More Consistent Singer and you'll get first dibs on singing workshops and master classes, as well as access to studio member only tips, tools, and insights I don't share anywhere else. Remember, I always say, your voice is a unique gift that the world is just waiting to receive. Thank you for letting me be a part of that journey and for helping me create this compassionate rather than competitive community of singers here supporting each other as we reach our potential. I'm Arden Kaywin.